amigos, esta Professor Olsen, otherwise known as the Butterfly Hunter. Today I am here in the San Juan Mountains hunting for the elusive Pythagorean butterfly, for his wings are congruent. And when I find those butterfly... What? You're... Oh, he's right there. I've been looking for that forever. I am so hungry. I've been waiting to eat one of these things. Oh, boy. Yes. The only thing about these here butterflies, like many animals, they're very protective of their young. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's get to work. we got to talk about this here test, don't we? Here we go, everybody. My answer sheet has the poetry included already. Look at this. All right. Well, first off, everybody, we had to find the volume of this here cylinder. That means pi times radius squared times the height. That's the area of the base times the height. Okay. I replaced pi with 3.14. The radius is obviously 11. Square it. Multiply it by the height. There's your answer. 7,522.8 centimeters cubed. Up next, we had to find the volume of a cone, everybody. That's one-third times pi times radius squared times the height. Replaced each variable, 565.2 inches cubed. And finally, number three, everybody, you had to find the missing height. They gave you the volume, replaced the variable, solve for h, and it's about two centimeters. Okay, everybody, now it's time for page... No oh, you got to do it first. Page number two. Don't forget to use a calculator and your formula sheet. You can do it.